Hey everybody, how's it going? Thane here from the Jimbiz Alliance, bringing you my Alliance Mate Aster's level 100 GARP gameplay. Quite the mouthful right there. <laughs> so he's going to be rocking the uh, Corazon, Fuji, and Treble Metal set. Um, so definitely picking up that uh, damage reduction with Don Quixote family. Um, but instead with that Sugar Metal getting a little bit more damage reduction, he's going to be uh, getting that skill 2 cooldown, which uh, I do think is important. You can see those medals aren't complete yet because he just... Um, he really just made damage reduction medals, he's never really worked on them before, because he never really uh, ran a damage reduction set on Defender before. Uh, so he's going to be rocking at 147%, he definitely can push that uh, more than 150 but he does main Soga King a little bit. And uh, he's going to be rocking with uh, the attacker tag, which is I think pretty important for the Garp, going to get a little more damage in there. Uh, but I think Straw Hat Pirates is the one that you definitely want to go to, specifically because you uh, reduce crit damage. I think that's really important in this meta, specifically against uh, things like Zoro, and uh, the always important Grand Line tag. Uh, maybe you could also throw in a Zoan in there. I know Red has a lot of good Zoans, uh, but Aster never really ran um, Red. He always wanted to go against the Grand not, not be with the cool red meta side. He always wanted to go on hard mode and be with the greens. And then when the uh, the meta switched to green, he wanted to go to blue. And so uh, finally, welcome to the dark side. That is the red meta. <laughs> We've got cookies. Uh, so he's going to do the boring job of uh, filling up that treasure gauge. And uh, that Odin didn't do that much damage, but that is a unit that you definitely have to watch out for, uh, specifically when you're not in your treasure area. Uh, so something that Aster said that he has been uh, trying to pay attention to is hitting units uh, when they're out of their invincibility, but when they can't really do anything. So, great example right there. <laughs> uh, absolutely uh, clobbering that Odin, uh, winning that battle, and uh, picking up that useless meat. So, uh, <clears throat> Rogers, outside of your treasure area, um, I won't, don't think that should have hit, but Rogers outside of uh, your treasure area are going to do a lot of damage, Odin's too. And uh, any like Laffy's are also going to do a lot of damage to you, but we'll get to that later. Um, but that skill one from that boosted Roger did 400 damage in your treasure area, so you can see the, the difference is insane. Um, so he's going to be taking on two Rogers uh, right there, and there's a third one right right behind. Um, so what is that, like 800 damage? Absolutely insane. One of the Rogers just left. <laughs> he didn't want any of it. He knew that he couldn't. Uh, they've got team boost, and uh, Garp's going to be picking up that nice good heals. Uh, got that wall of death, and uh, even um, normals uh, t on team boost, not even doing 1k damage, so absolutely insane. Uh, you rocking 10k uh, just on that third normal, so and Garp is going to be uh, healing about 4k uh, every single knockback, so absolutely insane. Love that track down on that, on that Roger. He was not expecting that Garp to follow him, so really good job, uh, Aster. Uh, so he's going to be looking at 5k with one minute left, so they're definitely in a good spot. The only person that uh, can really hurt him right now is that Laffy, and he goes down, and that Odin. Um, <clears throat> Laffy is definitely a threat uh, to Garp, specifically because he can um, pull him out of that um, treasure area and also stop that healing, which is so important for Garp, specifically to stay over that 70%, so he can resist um, uh, knockback to downed. Uh, and uh, Katakuri actually does kind of a decent job because Katakuri can push you out of your treasure area. Um, but you're not going to really see all that much of a Katakuri trying to push, uh, you know, trying to push on against an opponent's treasure unless it's a dire situation like this. Um, so tanks, Roger skill ones, I just feel like it's just absolute just food <laughs> for Garp. Just Roger is... Um, is nothing to Garp, and it's really the unit that we needed for for the meta. That's a, honestly, it's like the EX unit that we needed. But I'm totally fine um, that this Garp is a body fest because there is some limitations. Specifically, like if you're out of your treasure area, um, Garp isn't as good. Charge your phone. He isn't as good um, with it because all that damage reduction goes away, and then also like skill two, um, for instance, has some weird hit boxes. It's not like Jinbei's. Um, kind of skill where he like throws uh, the water around his body 
Uh, it only has that hitbox in front of him, so it misses a little bit, but you just got to get used to uh, the hitbox of it. This is only like his first day playing with Garp. So I'm going to do the really, really boring thing of um, filling up the treasure gauge. It's not fun for uh, watching gameplay, but it is important. Uh, also, just privacy note, uh, he is going to get like two text messages in this um, match, but I blurred it out so uh, no one can see. So ask her if you'll leave a comment explaining exactly what uh, you got. Uh, that'd be great for all of us. We really do need to know what's happening in your life. <laughs> so he did a terrible job of watching this Odin Cap uh, base, but that's okay because he's going to be uh, knocking him back with that third normal. And uh, <laughs> Odin said, <"Yeet." laughs> goodbye. I don't want any of that. He knew that he couldn't take it. He just wanted that uh, that uh, that flag and to go. Weird, a uh, weird strategy on that Odin's part for sure. Um, so a minute in, and he's still back in his main treasure area. He said, "All right, he's had enough." They don't have a defender up there, and their attackers are a little bit low on health. So uh, this law is going to come down. Didn't even see the guard; had no chance. And uh, what is what is Blackbird even going to do either? That that skill too is really nice. It comes out pretty quick. You can dodge it if you get used to it, but it does come out quick. And um, and they're up four one on a team boost. Uh, so just moving away from that Roger, and then just one shotting him. So absolutely insane. <clears throat> and then only taking about 2k damage against that Roger's skill too, and it looks like he's boosted as, as well. Um, so, just really just eating Roger's for breakfast. He's already knocking back another uh, and getting full uh, health. So there is your last uh, text message. So I apologize. We do like to keep things private there. Game and uh, life separate. Um, so misses uh, the skill one on the ray, and because he's out of his treasure area, that ray is going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. That ray is also going to be a little bit of a threat um, to Garp because he's he's not a captain, so he doesn't reduce um, hit any damage or increase any damage to. So it could have a little bit of problem. Specifically in this situation, that ray is on team boost, um, and Garp is out of his treasure area too. Uh, gets a nice KO on the Roger, um, but this ray is honestly doing a really good job piecing them apart. Can't take him on. Uh, can take on multiple rushes, but can't take on one ray. Uh, so luckily, he gets down with 900 health left, um, <clears throat> and gets a good perfect dodge in the ray. Uh, I'm gonna see who has that last laugh. They're almost at team boost, so he's just trying to avoid time, and uh, absolutely just obliterates uh, that ray once he gets team boost. So skill two misses, um, and a good perfect dodge, and you're just gonna pay for it. <laughs> really good job on that. And, uh, and also, you can just sit back and just take that skill, too. It's not like it's going to kill you or anything, which is insane to think about. Uh, Blackbird's going to roll in. Anytime a Blackbird rolls in, you dodge. And it's that's GG. That's a good 4-1 victory. Uh, Aster going to be picking up that 88k uh, score. Uh, so really good job. Thank you, Aster, um, for uh, providing this footage. And let me know what you think in the comments, how, uh, how good Garp is and how do you think he'll survive uh, in this meta and how do you think he will be... Uh, against the other bounty fast unit, Whitebeard. So, uh, other than that, uh, thanks, Aster, and everyone stay safe. Thanks for watching.